I meet with CEOs, nobody says to me, uh, gee, I think we've got a language strategy, a language issue, uh, strat- a strategy issue. Nobody says that. They may tell me they have a problem with clients. They may have a problem building out their presence in a country. They may have a leadership issue. They talk to me about every other issue, but this is seldom an issue that somebody raises, and that's true of my own career. And the reason for that is, is people a little bit take it for granted, and there's a little bit of a blind spot that each of us has, especially, uh, I would say, if you're a Westerner. We tend to think that the world looks at things the same way we do. And the reality is they don't. Uh, and so a lot of the issues that you're having as a company, in my experience, may be symptoms, symptomatic of a deeper issue and that you're not focusing on the role of language, on how it affects your culture, how it affects evaluating talent, how it affects you executing your strategy. And because if you're not explicit, about, in my experience, about your language strategy, and explicitly integrate that into how you think through vision, priorities, and alignment, i.e. how you think through your strategy, you've probably got an a, a undercurrent of a problem that you're not even aware of, and you know you're having issues in your business, and you're not sure why. This sometimes is part of the reason why, in that you're not thinking through all the aspects of language explicitly enough and it's, gonna, it's making everything you do much more difficult as a result.